the big thing is the carp virus and that's what we're looking at. Obviously there's a lot of questions around it. Firstly, what is it? Well, so we've got a naturally occurring virus that was first found in Israel in the late 1990s. Um, it's now found in over 33 countries around the world. And in those countries where this virus is present, it's caused outbreaks that have decimated their carp populations. Um, so we've seen mortality levels of uh, 70 and up to 100%. So this virus is extremely effective in killing carp. Um, so as I say, it's a naturally occurring virus. It's a herpes virus. Um, and uh, I guess one of the characteristics of herpes viruses is they tend to be very specific to a single species. Mm. So we expected that this virus was going to be safe in the sense that it's really effective in killing carp, but safe for species other than carp. But nonetheless, the CSIRO have been doing research over the last eight years, funded through the Invasive Animals Cooperative Research Centre, to really be doubly sure that this virus will not affect other species. So they've tested 13 species of fish, and they're some of the more iconic species species like golden perch, Murray cod, but also some of the really important small species that those species feed on, like galaxids and, and Australian smelt. And what they did is they, they bathed them with the virus, they injected them with the virus, and really what they were trying to do is determine whether or not they will develop the disease this virus causes. They also tested uh, mammals, birds, amphibians, reptiles, crustacea, and what they found was that this virus will only replicate in common carp. It will only cause disease in common carp. So that's a fantastic attribute for a biological control agent. So now we know that Australian carp, carp present in Australia, are very susceptible to the virus and that other species won't develop the disease, which is great.